SpongeBob. Let me show you, Patrick. It's all in the technique. Uh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> ah! Huh? I didn't even get to show him my best bubbles. Oh, I don't like this. You there. Come through here if you wish to save your friend. Who are you? Did you take Patrick? No, but there's no time to explain. Time is short and your friend needs help. Into this portal, quickly. If that's what I need to do to help Patrick, right now. I guess I have no choice. Uh, what? What just happened? My legs and arms seem to still be in the right places, so I guess I'm okay. You there. We need to talk. I thought that was it. The end. No more SpongeBob. But here I am, alive and well, and as absorbent as ever. Hey, listen to me. Hello? Hey, wait a minute. I'm on dry land. How can I even breathe? What the barnacles is going on here? I'm trying to tell you something, SpongeBoy. Hey, that's SpongeBob to you. And who might you be? I am Clockwork, Master of Time. I rewound time and brought you back here, just before you were defeated. You want to get home, and I can help. But we must take time to work together. Work together? Yeah, I don't think Mr. Krabs is hiring at the moment. Poor Patrick. I couldn't help him. But I got to. I just gotta help him. Fear not. You will have another opportunity to help your star-shaped friend. You! Did you do that to Patrick? If so, you better make him better right away or I'll show you my karate! Calm down, SpongeBob. Allow me to explain. You're here because we have a mutual enemy. A ghostly creature named Vlad Plasmius. And so we are allies. Enemies? I don't have enemies. Enemies are just friends you haven't met yet. 
Besides, I'm not afraid of ghosts. Oh, have you met the Flying Dutchman? He acts scary at first, but once you get to know him, he's not so bad as ghosts go. I assure you, this ghost is truly fearsome. He has gained the power to control the mind of any intelligent being, as well as your sea star friend, from any world he chooses. His ultimate goal is to control the minds of everyone in the universe. He must be stopped. Oh no, if he could control Patrick like that, think what he could do to people with minds. So you see, you must stop Plasmius. To do this, you must find and defeat him in battle. Well, I don't know about that. I have a shift at the Krusty Krab coming up. Hmm, this might be harder than I thought. Only by defeating Plasmius will you be able to return home. But there's more. He has already begun invading other worlds and controlling innocent minds across the universe. You must travel to these worlds through portals like the one I used to bring you here. Then you must free others by defeating them in combat as well. Once you do so and return them to this pocket dimension of mine, the timeless star dial, they will be safe from his influence. Hmm, that's a lot of travel and I don't have my passport. But if fighting others like I did Patrick is the only way to save the universe, then I suppose it is my duty. I could never turn my back on my friends, even if I haven't met them yet. So how do we get started? Oh, I should stretch first. Do you have a helmet I can borrow? <sighs> a moment. One last thing. Take one of my time medallions. Should you fall in battle, I'll rewind time as many times as necessary to ensure your ultimate victory. This time medallion will make you immune to temporal changes, thus ensuring you remember everything that's gone before. You'll grow stronger as a result. You must keep it with you at all times. Understand? Good luck. I don't need luck. I have square pants. Whatever's gotten into Patrick, I won't give up. Goodbye. I'll save you, Patrick, if it's the last thing I do, which I hope it isn't. Patrick sure was acting strange. I hope that knocked some sense into him. What do you think you're doing here? Um, are there two of you, or is that just you doing a silly voice? Control. That's not right. I guess you're just a mistake I will have to correct. Uh, huh? Wow! Barnacles! <laughs> I am more powerful than ever. You don't stand a chance. What just happened? My legs and arms seem to still be in the right places, so I guess I'm okay. You there. We need to talk. I thought that was it. The end. No more SpongeBob. But here I am, alive and well, and as absorbent as ever. Hey, listen to me. Hello? Hey, wait a minute. I'm on dry land. How can I even breathe? What the barnacles is going on here? I'm trying to tell you something, Sponge Boy. Hey, that's SpongeBob to you. And who might you be? I am Clockwork, Master of Time. I rewound time and brought you back here, just before you were defeated. You want to get home, and I can help. 
But we must take time to work together. Work together? Yeah, I don't think Mr. Krabs is hiring at the moment. Patrick, I'm glad you're all right. I was so worried. SpongeBob, yay! You're in my dream too. Awesome. Um, I don't think this is a dream, Patrick. Everything feels really real. You've helped your pink friend break free from a bad case of mind control. Side effects include disorientation, dry mouth, and an urge to cartwheel. You're here because we have a mutual enemy, a ghostly creature named Vlad Plasmius. And so we are allies. Enemies? I don't have enemies. Enemies are just friends you haven't met yet. Besides, I'm not afraid of ghosts. Ooh, have you met the Flying Dutchman? He acts scary at first, but once you get to know him, he's not so bad as ghosts go. He taught us a ghostly pirate how once. He goes, uh, little, 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 little. <sighs> I assure you, this ghost is truly fearsome. He has gained the power to control the mind of any intelligent being, as well as your sea star friend, from any world he chooses. His ultimate goal is to control the minds of everyone in the universe. He must be stopped. Oh no, if he could control Patrick like that, think what he could do to people with minds. It boggles even the mindless. So you see, you must stop Plasmius. To do this, you must find and defeat him in battle. Well, I don't know about that. I have a shift at the Krusty Krab coming up. And I want to get back to learning how to blow bubbles. Hmm, this might be harder than I thought. Bow, bow, bow. Gary! Now that you're here, I don't have to feel quite as homesick. Bow, bow. You are so right, Gary. And don't worry, when this is over, I'll give you lots of snail bites. Meow, meow. Mrs. Puff, you are here too? Oh, hello, SpongeBob. Did the ghost ask you for boating lessons? I didn't know you did private tutoring. No, SpongeBob. Even if he did, I don't see any boats around here. Oh, you're right, Mrs. Puff. There's no water either. So how could there be boats? No water? My SpongeBob, this is quite unsettling. I suppose without boats, it must be hard to know what to do with yourself. You must feel adrift. Or you would if there was any water. <laughs> yes, well, you do make a point. Just for that, I have a reward for you. Take it, SpongeBob, and leave me alone, okay? Welcome to our club! Welcome to our club! Welcome, Squidward! SpongeBob, leave me alone! Hey, Plankton, when did you get here? Go away, Cheesehead! Ahem! Whosoever sets foot on the Flying Dutchman's ship, uninvited or otherwise, shall become members of his ghostly crew forever! Now, now, Mr. Dutchman, I only came on board your ship to tell you how scary it was to board your ship. I didn't want to do this, but you were the straw that broke the camel's back. You're the real Flying Dutchman? Can I get your autograph? That's what you get for your jellyfish and this and your mermaid man that. I don't have to get in that little bag of yours labeled souls, do I? Dare you access the Flying Dutchman? I'll get you for this. And for cutting off me beard! Ooh, I'm glad I get to keep my soul. I'm pretty attached to it. I'm gonna need a bigger net! <laughs> Looks like I gotta brush up on my jellyfishing. Because I beat you doesn't mean we can't be friends. Bah! You are but a fly that has walked into a spider's web. Eh, uh, wouldn't you rather go jellyfishing instead? Uh, that was almost too easy. <laughs> Don't think you've heard the last of me. The Shredder 
will be back. Now that we're done, wouldn't you like an ice Krabby Patty? Normally, I don't do requests. But I think in this case, I can make an exception. I'd better get ready to use my spin technique. But it's over now. Aw, does this mean I do get a turn with the piñata? Enjoy your victory while you can. Oh well, thank you for having me. Your power pales in comparison to mine! You've done well making it this far. Color me mildly impressed. But this is the end of the line. You can't stop me. Not now, when I'm so close to my goal. I'll stop you, all right, or my name is in SpongeBob SquarePants. And it is. Confident, aren't we? That'll just make beating you all the more satisfying. Can't you see how strong I've become? <laughs> Your pathetic attempts to change the future are for nothing. You have already lost. However, if you grovel on your knees and beg for forgiveness, I might let you stick around to witness as I bring everyone in the universe under my control. I would, but I don't want to scrape my knees. Uh, impossible. You, you can't defeat me. Maybe you should have started your day with a healthy breakfast. Actually, you didn't defeat me. This is just a ghostly clone. <laughs> Fool you! Just a little reminder before I go. It's over. I've already won. Might as well just give up. Wait a minute. Can you even clone a ghost? Yikes! I'd better be kind and rewind. This is not the end. Hmm, my apologies. The explosion you just witnessed was the inevitable failure of Vlad's plan, and a sign of how dangerous his game really is. Vlad Plasmius is toying with powers he doesn't fully understand. If he continues down this path, I'm afraid the cataclysmic destruction of the entire universe is assured. He can't do that! I have the early shift at the Krusty Krab tomorrow! You see, that ghost clone was a decoy. I confess I led you right to it. You'll need to face and defeat the real Vlad Plasmius to prevent the cataclysm. Hey, what gives? It was a test. As the master of time, I can observe what was, is, and will be, alongside its countless possibilities. I knew you weren't ready to face the real Vlad Plasmius yet. You needed to become stronger. So, I led you down a path to face one of his clones to test your mettle. I do apologize, but I hope you understand. Aw, you just wanted the best for me. Thanks, pal. As I said, it was a necessary deception, and you're well on your way to confront the real Vlad Plasmius. You must now find his lair and defeat him once and for all. Don't forget, this time he'll be the real deal, much stronger than any clone. Make sure you are prepared before facing him. Thanks, Gary. You're always inspiring me to do better and better. Mow, mow. We meet again. Beware. You're not facing a clone this time. This time, you're up against the unbeatable team of me, myself, and I. You don't scare me. I've been practicing my karate. Such confidence. 
I like it. You'd almost make a great sidekick. You could watch in awe as I control the whole universe. I mean, it'd be nice to have an audience to witness my ultimate victory. But leaving you in control of your own mind could be problematic in the long run. So I'm afraid I'll have to deal with you immediately. It's hopeless. Can't you see that yet? Still, I have to admire your tenacity. I'll come back as many times as it takes, like I did with my boating lessons. Say what you want. I'll still beat you, but I'll be admiring you as I do. No! 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 I hope you've learned a valuable lesson here and stop what you're doing. Now send everyone home. <laughs> I've worked far too hard for it to end like this. Computer, initiate the overhaul protocol. Control every mind across the entire universe. Initiating startup sequence. Warning, ecto charge below safe levels. Activating the overhaul protocol will lead to core instability. Executive override. Proceed overhaul protocol. Proceeding. Error, core module levels critically damaged. Wait, what? How can this... No! This can't happen! Not again! If it weren't for you, this time, I was supposed to have fixed it! Um, other ghost? A uh, little help, please? Vlad Plasmius is our doom. There you have it. Vlad's failed plans have led to the destruction of the universe. As you just witnessed, his machine will malfunction, destroying everything, everywhere. You must stop Vlad Plasmius from activating the mind control failsafe procedure on his machine. I asked the scientist to invent a device to help you accomplish this. Talk to her before you depart. Good luck. Good catch, Gary. Oh, you are so smart. Wow. Well, it took a little bit longer than expected, but I managed to finish the energy dampener that our host asked me to make. This little gizmo should disable the doomsday machine I've heard so much about. With it, you should be able to avert catastrophe and whatnot, I believe. This is just as great as my friend Sandy's gadgets. You should meet her. You'd like her. Oh, well, then the energy dampener was a fun little side project, but I must return to my slime research. I believe that I'm close to a breakthrough. You again? This is all your fault. You keep getting in my way! I have to stop you. If I do, I earn a good noodle star. You don't know what you're talking about. I have to see it through. If I don't, we're all doomed. The only way to save everyone is for me to control everyone. Can't you understand? Nice try. We can't both be saving everyone. Forget it. I won't let you stop me this time. Computer! Initiate the overhaul protocol, now! I said, initiate the overhaul protocol at once! <laughs> I'm afraid your machine doesn't work anymore. Time to give up. Me? Give up? Please. I probably just need to turn it off and then turn it back on again. Which I'll do after I take care of you once and for all! I know what I'm doing. This isn't my first time, Rodeo. I've planned this perfectly. I can't fail now. And I won't fail again because of you. I plan for that too by now. It's good to have a plan, unless the plan is to do bad things. No, I, I, I cannot be defeated. It's not supposed to end this way. 
for a ghost, you're not so scary. It's over with, and now you have to send me and my friends home. No, no, no. Now you've really done it. You've doomed us all. Wait, no. I was close. So close. I just need one more chance. Quit whining, Plasmius. Your time is up. I'm not having very good best day ever. Uh, it's getting so hard to tell if you've won or lost these days. Meow. Good question, Gary. I can't imagine how or why the bad guy ended up here. Meow, meow. What do you want? Hey, what are you doing here? And why are we still here? Ha! Even now you remain ignorant. Obviously, I'm trapped here, same as everyone else. I see why the nice ghost would keep you here, but if I beat you, shouldn't he be sending us home? You know nothing, do you? How I, the greatest ghost in the universe, lost against creatures like you is truly beyond me. But that doesn't matter anymore. You ruined my plans, but you're the ones who will pay the price. Soon you realize you made a big mistake by stopping me. Just you wait and see. Meow. I agree, Gary. I can do it. We can do it. Meow, meow, meow. Stop right there. Thank Neptune. I've been looking all over for you. Hey, wait a minute. What's that pink glow? Only bad things have a pink glow around here. So, you think you have it figured out, do you? Why don't you think about it some more, just to make sure? But while you're figuring things out, let's have some fun, shall we? Uh... Listen closely. There's not much time. Vlad's machine. I can fight its effects for brief moments, but the longer I remain outside the timeless star dial, the worse it gets. It won't be long until I lose myself completely. I need you to... <laughs> Return to the timeless star dial and stay there until the end of your days. Your fate is sealed. I know you're not yourself right now, but that's not very nice, Mr. Ghost. I'm going back home. The universe is doomed, and there is nothing you can do about it. Give up and return to the timeless star dial. I won't say it again. Defy me, and you'll start a fight you could never win. This isn't good. My time is nearly up. Soon, my mind will be completely overwhelmed. You must defeat me, just like you did with the others. If you weaken me enough to return to the timeless star dial, there may yet be hope. Whatever you do, do not listen to anyone but me. Yet you still defy me. I warned you, now you'll get what you asked for, a fight. Which is perfectly fine with me. I'll still win, but from what I've seen, you'll be a worthy enough opponent. When you are ready to challenge me, come to my lair, if you dare. to be square? I'll be there! You want to know a secret? Vlad's mind control device was flawed in two ways. One small and one 
Well, very, very big. Here's the small one. It doesn't actually control minds, but simply replaces their personality with an angry, aggressive one. So it's not like he could build some conquering army or anything. In fact, he had no real control over whoever was affected by his machine. Take me, for example. I have no compulsion to serve Vlad Plasmius, and I've grown rather fond of smashing things and people and such. You've had a taste of that, so you know how wonderful that feeling is. But smashing isn't wonderful, it's terrible! You have to stop this and come back to the star dial. You'll be your good self again. Nonsense. Not while we're in the middle of non-stop fun. You see, Vlad's machine had a big flaw that caused it to blow up, destroying the entire universe. So much fun to watch, and I can simply rewind time and watch it over and over forever. And each time, just before it does, you'll be sent back to the timeless star dial so we can battle all over again. An endless battle right on the edge of total oblivion. Oh, how exciting. To quote my friend Sandy, you're nuttier than a fruitcake stuffed with peanut brittle. Think what you want, sticks and stones. Now it's time for battle. Prepare yourself. How unprepared you were to face me. Maybe I lost, but I still had a good time. We have to stop fighting! I broke a nail last time! If you won't face me, I'll find someone who will. I have plenty of choices, you know. Continue. Are you ready? Well, then it's time to take it up a notch. Let's not celebrate until we're safely back at the Timeless Star Dial. Come. Thank you, Gary. I know we had a lot of fun, but I'm in the mood to get back to Bikini Bottom and do some plain old jelly fishing. You've done well, Hero. Very well. It is not often I express gratitude towards another being, but I really must thank you. My recent memories are patchy at best. The only time I was truly myself was when we spoke here at the Timeless Star Dial. But as soon as I wandered beyond this pocket dimension, the other me hijacked my mind. A result of being exposed to Vlad Plasmius's machine when I tried to disable it. It destroyed the universe, something my evil self came to enjoy witnessing time after time. Why didn't you just say so before? Let's just say that at the beginning of our journey, it might have been a little TMI. You succeeded anyway, as I'd foreseen. When I was myself, of course. Vlad's machine has been destroyed, and everyone has been freed of its influence and it won't destroy the universe either. All of this was thanks to you, and now you may return home. I can't believe you did it. It should have been impossible. Well, when the fate of the universe is at stake, this sponge steps up. Oh, please. 
I would have been the one to save the day if you hadn't kept defeating me before I could fix my machine. Fix it? What, to blow up the universe more? Look, I built that machine to control minds, but even I didn't plan on blowing up the universe. Do you know how many ghosts that would have resulted in? Yikes. Here's the thing Clockwork didn't tell you. When I discovered that my device was going to blow up, I was going to try to fix it. But the evil Clockwork sent you to stop me before I could. All because he liked watching things blow up. So you really were going to fix it? I'd say as Clockwork yourself, but he won't remember. You see, Clockwork tried to destroy my machine, but I managed to bathe him in mind control rays first. The machine blew up, destroying everything shortly thereafter. So he caught me in an endless loop to watch it over and over again. But each time I remembered what happened next. So I came up with a plan to fix the machine and stop him. And to stop everything from, you know, blowing up. But, master of time that he is, he saw through my plan and brought you in to stop me from being able to fix the machine. So you see, I'm actually the hero of this story, not you. And certainly not clockwork. I guess we're all the heroes of our own stories. Fine. Believe me or don't believe me, what do I care? But it's over, and nothing's blown up. So who's to say I didn't save the day after all? Hmm. I guess congratulations are in order. While I could have been the hero, it was my machine that destroyed the universe after all. And though I tried to fix it, between you and clockwork, you made it so that my machine didn't malfunction in the first place. So, there was no need to fix it. And it really was you that saved the day, and not me. I hope you finally learned your lesson. Ha! Don't bet on it. I mean, I still want to control pretty much everything. Who wouldn't? I just have to try another way. And I will. Trust me on that. I'll bust out of here soon and embark on a new evil scheme. I got plenty of them up my sleeve. Don't make me come back and stop you. What you beat? Did you? Well, the joke's on you. You may think you've won, but this isn't over. Far from it. I did it! I did it! Ah, so you've come to test yourself against me. Remember, I am a master of time, and I've already seen that you will lose. Enough! I'd like to thank Sandy for teaching me karate! 